Hi, this is Steve Ostrom. And I'm Heather Ostrom. And we are back to looking at numbers. We used to do this all the time uh, when it was a changing market. And then with the theories that it might be a changing market, we want to sort of get in front of it. Yeah. Um, and then our office and our fancy software has a bunch of different ways to look at numbers. But I personally like just the old school way where we go in the third Wednesday of the month, the following month, yeah. and just run the numbers and see what they are and see what it is currently. So we're going back to it, looking at Roseville and Rockland. Plus, the best way of looking at things is looking at the data. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we're going to do this every month, third Wednesday of every month. Starting off, average sales price in Roseville, four ninety seven seven fifteen, which is good. <laughs> in Rockland, we had five eleven six oh nine. So. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And then something funny about year over year, it was 10% up in Roseville, but then it was down in Rockland from year over year to January last Interesting. year. Interesting. That's weird. I know. It's weird. Yeah. Because you think our numbers are so much alike. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyways. Uh, number of homes sold in Roseville, 116. In Rockland, it was 51. And then number number of homes on the market currently is 202 in Roseville. And we are at 111 in Rockland. Yeah. And then this one's crazy. Number of pendings right now in I Roseville thought this was nuts. 216. Yeah. That's a lot. Damn! Yeah. And then we have 84 in Rockland. Yeah. Absorption rate in Roseville is 1.74 months. And in Rockland, it was 2.176. Which so, is, hey, Steve, you want to explain that well, real it's, quick? Absorption rate is how much time it would sell the, to, to take to sell the number, current uh, homes on the on the market right now. Ouch, sounds like I know, I that. <laughs> Absorption rate is how long at the current pace would it take to sell the number of homes on the market right now. Okay. In months. Yeah. And a normal market is five to six months. And so that's still a seller's market, that number being yeah. so low. And then let's do the days on market. Uh, Roseville, 46. And then Rockland, it's 50. Yep. So not too far off from one another. But you know what? It's longer days on market yeah. right now. But I think it's also, I think what's on the market is either challenging location, condition, yeah. or they're overpriced. There's a lot of overpriced, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, price per square foot, and we argue if we should look at this, um, but it's something Because I think it's really, it's, yeah. it's a hard number. Don't get too, if you're looking... As a buyer, don't get so caught up in these numbers because it's not always appropriate yeah. to the home. Yeah, but it's I think it's a good thing to look at after the numbers, but yeah. I agree that if you look at price per square foot and that's important to you, you're gonna end up in a two story back to a busy road. Because exactly. you know, that's it's the just, thing. Two it's stories like and one stories are a complete different. The variables that go foot. into it, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what are we at? So we're at two thirty eight twelve for and, Roseville. And then Rockland was two thirty point four two. Nice. Yeah. And then interest rates interest rates are good. I mean they're still four point five. A little less than that I'm seeing so things are still good in that front it hasn't gone up like they've said it's gonna go up I mean a little bit but not noticeably yeah so those are our numbers for what, what do we January have? 2019 yeah Woo! <laughs> and tune in next month and if you have any questions or you want anything included let us know and we hey can easily follow up in the over. comments or you can give us a call or text and our website is roseville and thank you very much bye